Hi, it's GetBlock, and today we are going to shed light on how our users are accessing blockchain nodes. In this video we'll experience we shared Ethereum mainnet nodes. Ethereum is the oldest blockchain that supports smart contracts. It's used by a plethora of decentralized applications. In the shared nodes menu, we need to choose Ethereum and its main network. In order to demonstrate our performance, we use the Postman platform for API testing. We need to copy the URL of GetBlock connection to Ethereum mainnet to the Postman address line. Once API is chosen as a type of key, we copy our API key from the GetBlock account. Your API is required by GetBlock to recognize you as our user. For the body of our request, we chose row type of data in JSON format. And here things start getting interesting. To copy the code of our request to Ethereum, we need to find a sample in GetBlock documents. We open the Docs menu of the main page and choose Ethereum on the left bottom. In this demo, we will try the GetBlock by number Web3 command required to fetch all the data about transactions in a particular block. We copy the code from the request field, paste into Postman, and input latest in param string. Once the request is sent, the information we asked for is displayed below. That's it! There is the information about transactions included the latest valid block in the Ethereum mainnet. Also, the information can be received through web sockets. We just need to choose WSS endpoint in the nodes endpoints menu. In the terminal, let's set up the endpoint URL as a web socket category module and paste the API key into the header. Copy the data about connection from the corresponding JSON string in a postman and paste it into the terminal. What I'm doing is just putting the request in a one string. So, you can see that the result is similar. Enjoy! Thanks for being with us and don't forget to follow to get more videos.